one do I pick? Before we jump into the surfing, I have a big announcement to make. I'm officially working with FCS. They've sent me some gear in this box here and I'll literally be able to test all the FCS fins and make content around it for you guys. I'm so hyped. So we got the new Toledo's, which is sick. Helix leg rope. Then we got their new Treadlight FCS grip pad. An FCS hat. Hoodie towel. Can't wait to try that. Some stickers and then some of their wax. So the way our relationship works is I'm an affiliate for FCS, so they'll provide me with some gear. I'll show it off to you guys and give my honest thoughts about it. And then if you guys want to purchase any FCS gear, I'll get a small kickback on any purchases made through my affiliate link. So you guys will be able to support me and my channel when you purchase FCS gear. Thank you guys so much. And even if you guys aren't buying stuff, you guys can still support me for free by just liking, subscribing, leaving comments on my videos. I love you guys and I'm so excited to be working with FCS. Let's jump into the video. Okay, so we're using out the new fins from FCS. Wow, these actually look so sick. So these are the fins I'm going to be riding on all of the boards and then we got this leash here. This looks sick. Alright. Board number one. So the way this is going to go, I'm going to try to get five usable waves on each board and just talk about how they feel. So this is my 5.7 thumb jam. You can see it's got a thumb tail. Um, it's so good on rail and it's still good in the air. It's a PU but it has a yellow blank. So it's kind of in between like a regular PU and an epoxy. Well, the water's super brown and the waves are kind of weird. I might have to do some filming tomorrow as well. I think it might be a bit better. And I choose this one. Let's go. Okay, it's day two. We're trying again because conditions were just crap yesterday. Um, <laughs> oh, that was so embarrassing in front of everyone. It's such a trek to bring five boards down, get them all out for the thumbnail, put them all back. But uh, let's go. So this board's 5.7, it's like a standard custom short board. So this is for the first board I'm trying. I'll pop up the dimensions on the screen. But the conditions look sick. It's just a bit small today. that far but there is like dredging barrels there. Oh look at that one. Alright, snap it, let's go. So I'll quickly talk about this board while there's no way. You can see it has a really flat tail pad and it feels so weird. I love ones with a really vertical one. So <laughs> I kind of hate this just because of that. This one I did that like Gorilla Dragon design on, which is cool. And then the overall feel of it, so it does feel really good. It took me ages to get used to, but um, I don't know, it just doesn't, it's really good on rail. When it comes to airs and stuff, I prefer my board with the black rails. 
Yeah, this one's sick. I'd take this if it was like bigger surf or maybe if I was surfing like a point break or something. Yeah. Perfect example on that way. If like my main board wouldn't have bogged on that, it would have sped off. I would have been able to drive through that turn. But uh, this board just needs a bit more oomph, a bit more size. Okay, board two, we got my thumb jam. Just lugged my five boards all the way from the cliff because there's no waves really over there anymore. It's all over here. And I've just put the Hero 10 on. I'm actually getting a new lens cover. I'm getting a nine for it so I can lick and dunk it. So I can stop getting water drops on the 10. Okay. All right, we got board number three. This is actually a demo board. This is the only board that isn't a custom made one. Um, this one I just really love. It's like my favorite airboard. But again, it has this black tail pad on it and I hate them. But uh, let's see how it goes. Should have gone that. Point. Oh. Check the back on this. Okay, it is 7:20 the next morning, and we are back on my black rail board, my favorite board, board number four of this video. And I'm just thinking, I haven't really released the artwork for board number five, the Stokehead board. Um, so I think I might make a separate video on that. Yeah, it's this 5.6 epoxy. It has a flat rocker. It's so good for small waves. And it is absolutely tiny today. 
which is unfortunate. I thought yesterday was really small, but it's even smaller. Hopefully we get something. These fins look though, on this board. There's a tiny barrel. things about this board I think I've had it for almost a year it's definitely my favorite board I know it's just so well rounded it's really good in the air super super fast and then like it's really good on turns I think one of like the best carves I did like power carves it's on this tiny way but it held the rail so well it's really small so I think I'm gonna go in So you guys may be wondering, where do I keep all my surfboards? I've just put in this rack that this brand called Modemy has sent me and it stores about three of my boards. It's made it so much easier. I used to just leave them in my garage and they get so dusty and stuff. But now with this surf rack, you can literally put it anywhere and it's great. So I like to have mine up horizontally, but you can put it up vertically like in a surf shop. I'll show you what it looks like. And I'll quickly show you guys how to actually install it. It's seriously so easy. Boom. And it's that simple. If any of you want your own surf rack, I'm going to put the link down in the description below. Let's go show the Nora, bro. 